Well, July 4, 2022 will stand as an important marker in the accomplishments of the International Headquarters Business Administration Department. Owing to the dedication, the commitment, and the vision of Dr. Matthew Carpenter, our International Finance Secretary and Safeco Company Secretary, and Major Loveth Honora, our IFAS Project Director, and their extremely creative team as we launch the iFAST e-learning management system today. Welcome to each one of you to this historic event. Whether you are joining with us live or joining with us virtually from around the Salvation Army world. The potential of the curriculum being introduced and released today will better equip our advancing movement to the glory of God, strengthening current practitioners and building the capacity of future finance and business leaders. The possibilities being celebrated today are far-reaching and impactful. A special welcome to Commissioner Lyndon Buckingham. Chief of the Staff, we are so pleased that you're joining with us today and you will come to this podium in just a few moments to officially launch the IFAST Learning Management System. Thank you, Commissioner. Along with our General, the Chief of the Staff has been an advocate for and encourager of building the capacity of our movement. And just to acknowledge a word to our partner, Booth University College of the Canada and Bermuda Territory, we would want to say thank you. This has been a remarkable journey and a celebrated partnership. We're very grateful to Lieutenant Colonel Susan Van Dynen, President of Booth University College, and the BUC team, whose vision aligns so well with our motivation today, education for a better world. Now, I'm going to invite you, if you would please, to join with me in welcoming the Chief of the Staff, Commissioner Lyndon Buckingham. Thank you, Chief. That's you. Thank you, Commissioner Lee. Good morning, everyone, uh, both present and online. Uh, naturally, I'm delighted to be able to share with you this morning in this significant launch event. I've been reflecting on two verses of scripture that come to us from the book of Proverbs. The first one is found in chapter 15 and verse 22, and it says this, plans fail for lack of counsel but with many advisors, they succeed. And we celebrate the fact that so many people have been involved in the development and the production of this e-learning system that we can be confident that the plan will succeed because of all of the work that has gone on in the preparation. The second verse is in chapter 16 of uh, Proverbs, and it says this, commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. So this morning, with thankfulness of heart and with expectation and a celebration of all of the good work that has gone on in preparation, we also want this morning to commit our work to the Lord and ask his blessing, not only on our launch event, but the activities and learning that will occur through this system for the glory of God, for the advancement of the kingdom, and to ensure that we are good stewards of all that's been entrusted into our care. So I invite you in these moments to share a prayer with me. Father, we're pausing for a moment to become aware of your presence with us. We give you thanks this morning for your goodness, your grace, and you, your love. We thank you for your wisdom and for your counsel and for your guidance. And this morning, as we celebrate the launch of this system, we would ask for your anointing and blessing to be upon it and those who were administering it and running it for the good of the mission of the Salvation Army. We pray that you would bless all those involved, including staff and learners, that this system would be used, Lord, to help us to significantly advance our mission work around the globe. We thank you, Lord, for everyone who's been involved. We thank you, Lord, in anticipation of great things happening as a result of this system launch. We pray your blessing upon us and upon it this morning. 
in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Amen. Now, I must not leave, because we're going to now listen to a video presentation from the General, who shares with us something of his vision for the LMS system. Please watch. I am so happy to be able to welcome you to the Salvation Army's new online learning management system. I wanted to take a moment and personally introduce this tool. In the scriptures, we have many examples of the advantages of learning and study. God spoke to Joshua as he took up his leadership position and said, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Joshua 1. The author of Psalm 119 made this petition before God. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I, I will put them into practice with my heart. Indeed, many times throughout that particular psalm, he promises to study God's word. And of course, we always have Paul's instructions to young Timothy. Concentrate on doing your best for God. Work you won't be ashamed of. Laying out the truth, plain and simple. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Proverbs 9 and 9 tells us to instruct the wise and they will be even wiser. Teach the righteous and they will learn even more. So it should be no surprise that one of our core values is the advancement of education, not only to benefit the communities we serve, but also to develop our own people, our officers, our employees, and other workers. With this new system, we are educating our own. We have built tailored content specifically designed to address the Army's needs for informed and competent finance staff and leaders. And we are making it available across territories and time zones, breaking down barriers to education. The goal of the online learning management system is to centralize, standardize, and scale financial education, placing all the content in one place equally available, readily accessible in such a way as to be able to modify and expand as needed. As a Salvation Army officer, employee, or other worker, you can now take control and be accountable for your finance education because you can access and consume the content at a time and pace that suits you. Taking the courses will help you not only develop key system skills, but also understand and apply appropriate policies and procedures. In this way, we will be better prepared to be accountable for the resources God has placed in our hands and to embrace the support of the Salvation Army's strategic goals. I wanted to personally thank you for your engagement my hope is that you will learn and enhance your own capacity and that as a result, the Salvation Army will be able to move closer to an excellence that brings honor and glory to God. May God bless you in this endeavor. We would want to say thank you to the General for his message and for his support of this e-learning program as part of the strong commitment towards lifelong learning and capacity building within the Salvation Army. Well, next we're going to hear a couple of video presentations on the importance of capacity building through technology. And uh, I'm going to share some thoughts by way of video. And then Dr. Matthew Carpenter, our international uh, secretary uh, for and SACO company secretary, is going to share some significant thoughts on uh, the purpose of the IFAST project. 
The Salvation Army has placed a strong emphasis on intentional development and capacity building for its officers, employees, and other workers worldwide. We have innovated and adapted to take advantage of the global modernization of communication. Through research and collaboration with our education partner, Booth University College, the Salvation Army International Headquarters has been able to develop tools and resources to create an e-learning platform that will revolutionize finance education for our staff worldwide. The vision of the e-learning platform is to provide a pathway for learning to spark the imagination and unlock potential for users within the Salvation Army. Technology is as only valuable as the commitment and interest of the people who choose to work with it. This is why we set out to develop an infrastructure for the e-learning platform that is reliable, scalable, and effective for the end user. The courses offered will allow students to grow in their knowledge of the critical finance tools of the Salvation Army Ministry, IFAS accounting, and systems. Each module is informative and engaging, providing each end user a diversified approach to learning. It will help to improve Salvation Army practices and compliance to protocols globally through the application of knowledge learned through the courses. This is an exciting time for the Salvation Army as we are in a generation where technology surrounds us on all sides. We have determined to take advantage of the resources God has provided to grow and improve His kingdom through the Salvation Army with the help of these new learning portals. We will be a stronger army, a more prepared army, and a Salvation Army equipped to fulfill His purpose in every part of the world. Today, a huge stride is taken on a journey that represents the most significant global business administration project in the history of the Salvation Army. It was back in 2014 where it began to create what became known as International Financial and Accounting Standards, or IFAS, for the Salvation Army. The purpose of IFAS is to monitor, review, upgrade and enhance worldwide Salvation Army financial systems to develop sector-leading practice ensure wide-ranging stakeholder accountability, facilitate capacity building of finance personnel, and enable funding for purpose. An IFAS project team was formed from 2017, and working with territories has already made significant progress in achieving this objective while targeting a number of specific goals. To implement the IFAS standards to all territories to upgrade financial management and assist territorial leaders to better understand available funds and risks. To procure, tailor and roll out a suitable cloud-based software solution, NetSuite, that could be tailored to deliver the IFAS requirements. To build a team capable of deploying the cloud-based software solution, NetSuite, to all financially supported territories, providing THQ teams with the necessary training. The IFAS manual was prepared to replace the outdated Manual of Accounting Policies and Procedures, MAP, and was approved for use from 2018 for all Salvation Army territories. The IFAS drafting process involved extensive consultation with territories, aiming to introduce consistently a set of global accounting and finance policies. The IFAS manual also included a set of 17 key financial indicators to help leaders better understand the health of territorial finances and enable consistent reporting to IHQ. NetSuite won the tender from a competitive field and was chosen as a cloud-based accounting package to be implemented in financially supported territories as a product that could be tailored for IFAS standards and was capable of handling unique Salvation Army accounting requirements. The IFAS project represents much more than a change of software package, but an opportunity for territories to undertake a wider program of change management to overhaul outdated systems address, identify gaps in reporting, and mitigate weaknesses in controls. The NetSuite software implementation has already delivered the following direct benefits to the Global Army. Financially supported territories, moving from paper-based systems to modern cloud-based tools, available from any internet connection with good security. Improved monitoring of Salvation Army project funds sent to financially supported territories in conjunction with the Hive system operating within the Global Salvation Army, increasing confidence to donor territories that funds are well used and effectively monitored against budgets. 
Building financial management capacity in financially supported territories with training and development of THQ staff. Empowering territorial leaders in financially supported territories to be better informed of the financial health of their territory with accurate information on the financial position available more quickly alongside enhanced monitoring at IHQ of key financial indicators. And auditors, internal, external and international, accessing improved information more quickly with audit costs to potentially reduce as costly visits and time testing paper-based controls is replaced with remote access to data prior to visits and testing based on electronic approvals. At the start of the IFAS journey, training and capacity building were highlighted as key project objectives with four IFAS training pillars identified as needing to be addressed. Pillar one, the need to offer training in IFAS policies per the approved IFAS manual. Pillar two, the need to offer training in the NetSuite software designed to apply the IFAS principles and reporting. Pillar three, the need to offer training in general accounting skills. And pillar four, the need to offer training to leaders on how to understand and interpret financial reports. And so today, a huge step forward is taken with the LMS and e-learning program now providing the tools that are needed in order to achieve the four IFAS training pillars on a truly global scale. One thing is absolutely clear from the project experience to date, that the key ingredient, vital and essential to success, is consultation and involvement with territories. The e-learning tools have been developed with the needs of territories at the forefront as highlighted in previous IFAS consultations with territories, as highlighted by the engagement of the IFAS project team with the 13 territories that have received the NetSuite software to date, and as highlighted through user acceptance testing conducted on the system with territorial users. And so our message to you today is this. This is your e-learning system, designed with the needs of your territorial staff in mind. Explore it, apply it, use it, and continue to feedback to the IHQ IFAS team on how the system can be enhanced to meet your ongoing and changing needs. We pray that this new and exciting tool may benefit your territory, your territorial staff, your work, and your God-given ministry. And of course, it just wouldn't be the Salvation Army if we didn't provide space for testimonials. And so we've put together a short collage of testimonials from territories dealing, detailing their experiences and piloting the LMS system as part of their journey to go live with NetSuite. Let's listen in. Acknowledge all the work that has gone into making the NetSuite go live a reality in the Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands territory. We acknowledge the financial investment and commitment of IHQ to see our territory succeed. We are grateful for the orientation and online training that our team were able to complete as an important part of their preparation. The training was a vital piece of the implementation process, opening the eyes of our team to a new world of opportunity in the area of financial management and good governance. We are grateful for the IFAS trainers who were able to get us across the line. There is still much work that lies ahead of us, but we are grateful for this new tool that we have been provided with. NetSuite is a tool that will enhance our financial management. And as we enhance our financial management, we will make good decisions and improve our mission delivery. And as we improve our mission delivery, we will see men and women, boys and girls, finding hope and being transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Therefore, for us as a territory, NetSuite is not merely an accounting software package. No, for us, it's a tool of transformation. It will help us to see our five-year vision realized. The Salvation Army will actively rebuild, restore and renew where a broken world needs it most. May it be so. 
財富啊，或者係會計嘅背景，所以佢開始嘅時候咧都好緊張，好擔心聽唔明，亦都好擔心咧個系統好複雜，好難操作。不過開始咗訓練之後咧，我就發覺其實如果我哋有耐心同埋肯按步就班咁樣去實習嘅話，其實呢個系統咧都唔難駕馭嘅。希望大家都有一個愉快嘅學習經驗啊 ！Greetings, friends from j o h a n n e s b u r g South Africa. The Salvation Army Southern Africa Territory is very happy about the IFAS Global Accounting System, which is facilitated by NetSuit. There's now a transparency in terms of the way we are doing our business as the territory. The system is engaging everybody, that includes all the HODs. Once again, thank you very much about this system, as it will make our life easier. In terms of transacting, may God bless you. Hola a todos. Mi nombre es Eric Escalona. Yo soy Champion IFAS del territorio oeste de Sudamérica. Bueno, quiero contar que la capacitación online IFAS que tuvimos a principios del año 2021 fue muy importante para enfrentar el Go Live. Fue muy entretenido, muy flexible. Además, el aprendizaje, aprender haciendo, le, le, le puedo llamar. Y eh, además, nos entregaba una retroalimentación inmediata. Esta capacitación fue hecha para、eh, y, y tomada por todos los roles NetSuite de nuestro equipo de contabilidad y finanzas. Y sin duda fue una ayuda muy importante para poder enfrentar el Go Live que tuvimos en nuestro territorio. En junio del 2021. Los quiero felicitar por este nuevo sistema de gestión de aprendizaje que entregará capacitación a IFA y Netflix en línea para todos los territorios y comandos alrededor del mundo. Muchas gracias al team IFA por su despliegue y su apoyo permanente a, a nuestros contadores, a nuestros equipos contables. Y、eh, les mando un saludo afectuoso desde Sudamérica Oeste, Santiago de Chile. Muchas gracias. We thank the territories for their input.、Um, next up, we're going to hear from IFAS Project Director Major Lavathanura,、um, who's going to provide a project implementation. Overview. Let's welcome her. Thank you. The excitement of dreams coming true is beyond the description of words. And when God gives a vision, He gives what is required to make the vision a reality. I'm grateful to God for giving our international leaders this transformative vision that we are celebrating today. There is a saying that practice is the hardest part of learning, and the training is the key to transformation. So, training and education of officers, employees, and other service army workers is essential to the overall success of the IFAS implementation project. Without effective and appropriate training, there is a high risk that user adoption will be affected, and the systems will not be used in line with the IFAS policies and procedures. The learning management system has three key tiers: IFAS systems, IFAS accounting, and IFAS leadership. The IFAS systems tier has three different system modules designed for all system users. System one covers next three functional modules, which includes fixed asset management, accounts receivables, accounts payables, and many more. Why system two? Planning and budgeting cloud services model, which covers territorial budgeting, management reports, and key financial indicators. And the third system is for point of sale. The second tier is for IFAS accounting, which has two certificate levels. Level one is designed for all users involved with financial or governance responsibilities within a territory. Level two. It takes a deeper, a deeper dive into practical examples and the application of accounting policies, focusing more on those working in finance department. Under tier three, IFAS leadership. The IFAS leadership tier is designed for new leaders, 
at territorial level and covers IFAS overview, risk management, how to interpret care fires, project reserve accountability, and many more. Let me provide you with a brief overview of the territories that has been implemented successfully, despite many of the territories needing to go live remotely with online training and local disruption to services due to COVID-related restrictions. The IFAS project has successfully deployed the NetSuite accounting software to 13 territories and international headquarters. Territories that have been implemented are Kenya East Territory. This territory became our first pilot and was implemented with much excitement in May 2018. General Brian Perdue commissioned the new system with a prophetic prayer that speaks to this day, and the general also approved the inaugural transaction in NetSuite. I am so happy that we can get real-time reports from the system, making it easy for leadership to make an informed decision. Commissioner Henry Nyaga, Territorial Commander in Kenya East at the time of this event. The IFAS system was implemented in the Indonesia Territory in October 2018. The Territory accepted the new accounting system and policy with passion. In addition, the NETSU system was made available in the Indonesian language, making it more user-friendly. South America East Territory happily welcomed the IFAS implementation in November 2018, with the team transacting in Spanish. The project then conducted the Territory IFAS Champions three-week conference in Southern Africa and Singapore in May and July 2019, respectively. Two champions nominated from each territory were trained extensively on IFAS accounting, financial policies, NetSuite navigation, and the data migration. Thereafter, Uganda Territory was implemented in September 2019. Now that cash reconciliation has become effortless, I don't need to stay late at work anymore. Testimony of a cashier from Uganda Territory. Kenya West Territory was implemented in November 2019, soon after Uganda. The IFAS project team visited all six Indian territories and the Indian National Office in February 2020 to gather implementation requirements and conducted change management workshop for all Indian territorial leaders. In March 2020, Zambia was the only territory to be implemented in the remainder of 2020 as COVID-19 lockdown restrictions emerged soon after this deployment. In February 2021, Pakistan became the first territory to be implemented during COVID restrictions. This was implemented remotely. IHQ implementation was done remotely in April 2021, with the largest number of system users being trained. It was so exciting, and approximately 115 users were trained virtually within, with the help of trainers supporting the sessions. This was the most significant milestone as IHQ became a good model for the global army. The event was unveiled by the general, supported by all IHQ leaders and staff. A remarkable statement made by the general during the IHQ IFAS system launch. Today marks another milestone that is worthy of celebration. I celebrate all the things, tasks, and projects that we have accomplished and move forward during the lockdown. We have an amazing team of gifted people, and therefore, by God's grace, nothing is impossible. I believe that forging a path to the future is possible, and a day like today is a proof of that reality. General Brian Pedro. The second Spanish-speaking territory, South America West, was implemented remotely in June 2021. Nigeria territory was implemented in August 2021, together with other territorial entities and units, including a hospital, a school, and the officers' training college. Sri Lanka territory followed soon after and was implemented in September 2021. The Southern Africa Territory was implemented in October 2021. The IFAS team held a workshop in November 2021 in which General Pedro and the International Secretary for Business Administration, Commissioner Lee Cripps, addressed the team. Implemented remotely in February 2022, Taiwan region was interesting because this was the first on the IFAS list to use the Mandarin Chinese language in the NetSuite system. Soon after Taiwan region, Papua New Guinea and Solomon Island Territory was implemented in March 2022. The project team's primary objective is to complete the implementation of the remaining targeted territories before the end of 2025. 
our international leaders, and all IFAS Project team members wish to thank all IFAS donors for their financial support, making this implementation possible. Without your support, this massive project would not have been possible. I wish you God's blessings as you use this exclusively designed learning tool. Dearly beloved, whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. We will now hear a message from uh, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Susan Van Dynen, the president of Booth University College, our partner in this endeavor, outlining how this fits with their vision of education for a better world. Greetings. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Susan Van Dynen, president of Booth University College. I consider it an honor to be able to share with you about Booth University College. Booth University College connects very well to the world through the Canada and Bermuda Territorial Vision Statement. It says we are an innovative partner, mobilized to share hope wherever there is hardship, and building communities that are just and know the love of Jesus. This aligns so well with our model of education for a better world. We see men and women, students engaged in being shaped to mobilize and share hope in a tough and rough world. So how does Booth University College look at education for a better world? That's rather a bold statement, isn't it? As a Christian university college, Booth's mission is shaped by the biblical realism, which acknowledges that the world, although created by God, and therefore endowed with the goodness and beauty of God, nevertheless is deeply troubled. As a Christian institutional setting, we explore the world as it is with its mix of splendor and violence, with its mixed up despair and hope, its mix of injustice and longing to do better. Much of our work is an effort to expand understanding beyond what we have always thought or believed. But as a Christian university college, it is imperative that we do more than simply understand the world as it is. We must also look beyond what currently exists, beyond the constraints of the moment to envision a better world. We must prepare our students not only to identify and understand the challenges, but also to envision solutions for the future. So how does Booth University College accomplish this? We do this by cultivating a vibrant culture of learning whether on campus or virtually or online. By meeting the education and training needs of the Salvation Army within this territory and around the world, by having targeted efforts to ensure the best Booth University College experience for all. For example, in September of 2022, there will be the launch of the Corporate Learning Academy, a place for mission partners, those officers, employees, volunteers, cadets, auxiliary captains, and auxiliary lieutenants, where they can develop their personal and professional skills, where they can learn innovative ways to transform their communities, and where they can grow as a mission partner with the Salvation Army. It is a dream to encircle the globe, where Booth University College will see students and participants making a difference for the Kingdom of God and the world a better place. I would like to thank you for taking time to hear about Booth University College. Located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, we would be so delighted if you could join the Booth University College family. May God bless you. You know, hosting one of these online live events can be a pretty stressful thing, uh, both for those who are charged with making presentations and also those behind the scenes that are ensuring that all things technical work well. 
So my thanks to all of those people who are involved in making this happen the way that it is happening this morning. We're celebrating a lot. We're celebrating a lot of achievement, a lot of hard work, a lot of activity, and we're very grateful for the milestones that we're already able to celebrate. And we come to a point in uh, this presentation where we get to celebrate another moment, that is the actual live launch. You can see I'm pretty excited because, you know, it is me that gets to push the red button. Uh, I don't know what happens when I push the red button other than it makes a funny sound and also that it marks the actual launch of the event. So uh, on behalf of all of those who have been involved, uh, it is my pleasure uh, to take this moment, Commissioner Lee, to push the red button and declare the learning system live. We ready? Big build up, isn't it? Here I'm told that now in that 30 second gap, the system is live. Let's take a look at a preview of this wonderful new learning management system and all that it's going to do for us. Please watch the video. Welcome to the IFAST NetSuite training on Managing Supplier Records. Esto se puede establecer en la moneda en la que se realizará la transacción. In the TSA, each territory is divided operationally into departments. El estado de la factura de venta cambia pendiente y aparecen unos botones de acción adicionales. points to note are that some territories will use this accounting framework as a basis for producing their annual statutory accounts if they do not have any national accounting standards to adhere to or follow. It's your turn to have a go. Please open the IFAS manual and turn to page 12. Please read through the points on page 12 to 14. Taking what you've just learned, please attempt the quiz. So let's 
let's now review the quiz questions. So now that you've had a preview of the system, let's start learning. Let's start learning. Let's start learning. Mari mulai belajar. So new labios. Let's start learning. Vamos comenzar a aprender. Let's start learning. Vamos a aprender. Como ons begin om te leer? We're all set. The challenge is given, and now we look forward to enrolling our first students. The courses we currently have include NetSuite system training and IFIS accounting levels one and two, both in English and in Spanish. Details of the enrolment process will be shared with territories from the office of the ISBA before the end of the week, Commissioner Lee. Let's start learning. I want to express thanks to all of those who have made the LMS launch possible today. Thanks to Commissioner Lee Graves for his leadership of the IHQBA department that has brought forward this new and wonderful tool. Thanks to Dr. Matthew Carpenter and to Major Loveth Anora for their leadership of the IFIS and NetSuite implementation project, representing the largest global BA project undertaken in the Army's history. And thanks to each and every one of the IFES project team that have built the LMS tool and all the associated resources. And thanks to you, those in territories that have joined our presentation today. Our fervent prayer is that this LMS system will resource, support, help and enhance your ministry in the days ahead. Thank you for coming. God bless you all. Friends, I'm being